G'day guys, welcome to Us Right Share TV. In this video, we're gonna talk about child car seat or child restraint in Australia in different states from the best state, Queensland to Victoria to New South Wales and we're gonna talk about Western Australia too. Let's check it out. So child car seat is a very confusing topic. Sometimes I ask some of the police officer, even some of them are in disagreement. They don't, they don't, they're not even sure themselves what's the rule. And that's why I'm digging in and try to find the answer. If I, if you look it up on Uber, Uber itself they give really vague information. They recommend it, but they don't, they don't require it. And they also, in the end, they just refer. Make sure you follow the state law that you are in. So Uber is hopeless. So I turn to the transport websites from different government. And this is what I found. My experience is that as a driver, we always feel cornered. Before I found out that it's okay in Queensland for certain age of kids that they can just sit in our car, just like taxi without a car seat. And one time this, this mother would get really upset to me for refusing to dropping her off with her, her six year old son because she doesn't have a car seat. But later I found out that it's okay because we are a book hire service license. Remember the two different states have different rules and we're gonna start with the best state of Australia, which is Queensland. So Queensland government and Western Australia, which is Perth, has a similar requirement. They both require us, Uber driver, Ola and Didi are exempted. We are special in a way when there is no child restraint no child car seat we it's okay for children less than one year old you know this baby that you can hold like this it's okay if the parent hold that baby safely on the lap help on the lap i wouldn't do that to my own kid but according to queensland transport website it's okay and that someone has to be 16 year old or older i'm pretty sure it's a 16 year old or older who is not a midget who is certain height you know just use your common sense pretty much that's what queensland government is saying just use your common sense mate and just have an adult the mother or the father to hold the baby as secure as possible and make sure you drive really carefully if the accident happened i hope Hope to God it doesn't happen. But, and if the children is older than one year old, it's okay for the children to be safely put on a seatbelt, even if the seatbelt can be over the the head or <laughs> end up choking them. You know this scenario right there. According to the Queensland government website, it's okay. One thing for sure for Perth and Brisbane, they cannot sit on the front seat. They have to sit at the back. And a reminder as well, if there is a car seat available, you need to install that car seat safely for the child. And you are required by law to have a car that provides an anchor point. This is the anchor point, usually at the back of the car, not a luggage point, luggage hook. It looks something like this for most sedan and you hook it up like that it's pretty easy maybe it's hard for if you never have a kid but it's pretty straightforward anchor point you are required to have that so you can't have that removed from your car most likely you won't pass a safety test uh, anyway but you need to make sure that's available in your car uh, for queensland and western australia you get a fine of 400 dollars each time you are violating this law next let's go to new south wales in sydney in sydney it gets a bit stricter however the fine is a bit less it's 50 dollars less maybe because they're cheaper you know i don't know i don't know how sydney people do it but that's what i found on the website it's 350 if you uh, don't have you know the car, the car seat or if you break the law. Same thing with New South Wales, they have exemption for taxi and book hire service, which is Uber, Uber, which is us. Same thing with Queensland. If there is a child restraint, you make sure child restraint or car seat is installed safely for the child. However, they have a stricter age requirement. For, for children up to age of six months, they must use the rear facing child car seat. So the rear facing means, means facing the back. Uh, not this one. This one's facing forward. 
No, this one, this one facing forward. So the opposite of that. For the children aged between 6 and 12 months, they must use either a rear facing car child car seat or forward facing child car seat with an inbuilt harness. And for the children over 12 months, they must use a booster seat or wear a properly adjusted and fastened seatbelt. And as always, they must not sit on the front seat. So I don't know. Let me know, guys, if you're a Sydney driver from New South Wales. What would you do? Do you carry around the car seat around your car? I don't know. Please leave a comment and let me know. But so far in Queensland Perth, we are chill. We are really relaxed. Makes me think like, so if there's a pregnant lady just give birth to her newborn child and order an Uber to take her home because she's a single mom, is that legal? Well, according to the Queensland website, that's legal. So next, to the Victorian state, the Melbourne, the AFL, the true Aussie food. Okay, that's enough. Uh, child car seat restraint law in Victoria is really strict. Is There's no exemption for Uber or rideshare. Let me know and reconfront to me, guys, if you are from Melbourne. I know, Scott, you are from Melbourne. So please confirm this. Uh, but according to the website, victoria.gov.au a ride share vehicle is just like any other private car and requires child restraint to be installed to transport children under seven years of age that is hard well, that really limits the victorian drivers to getting tr good trips more info from the rscq.com.au is that the child the child car seat child restraint must follow the ANZ Australia and New Zealand standard of 1754. Remember the number, 1754. So that means if the car seat came from somewhere like Switzerland or uh, France or the USA, and it doesn't have ANZ and not approved with the sticker by ANZ 1754, did I get it right? Yep, that means you cannot use the car seat legally. And the car seat needs to be less than 10 year old. Just like our Uber car, it needs to be in a good and safe condition. As always, no child on the front seat, no matter what state you are in Australia. To sum it up, pretty much Victorian government is telling you that you have to treat your child passenger as your own child, but Queensland and Western Australia is an exemption. Thank you so much for watching guys, I'll see you in the next video. Please like and subscribe and share this video, I hope you find this video useful. Please check out other videos as well that I've put on the content to help drivers simply to be your own boss. Thank you.